And let's get over to you as far as that forecast is concerned. Really one o'clock should be when the rain starts moving in, right? Yeah, I think so. So for the next few hours, we're good to go. You can get outside and take that hike or maybe play some tennis. I always drive by the tennis courts up in the Briargate area. It makes me want to get outside and swing the racket. So whatever you want to do outside, get it done before one o'clock, before two o'clock. Eastern Plains, your threat will pick up after three. Start out with a viewer photo from Larry Marr. This is one of those horseback riding tours they do in the Garden of the Gods area. This looks like a lot of fun. I don't know if there's tourists or locals. Either way, it looks like maybe a great way to explore something that's in our own backyard. Now, days are getting longer throughout the holiday weekend. Sunrise this morning just after 530 sunset tonight at 816 this evening. You might not see it too well because of the storm clouds, but just know those daylight hours extend well beyond 8 o'clock tonight. Temperatures warming pretty quickly this morning in the springs. We're now at 67 degrees. That's quite a bit warmer than Pueblo, which is still in the upper 50s, but Pueblo is going to win the race by the afternoon, topping out into the lower 80s. You can see elsewhere across the News 5 viewing area, we have some lower 50s, Lyman to kick Carson, 58 right now for Lamar, 56 in Springfield, 60s on the map, Trinidad up to Canyon City, currently in Rye. We are sitting in the upper 50s. Now, more importantly, we're watching the abundance of moisture once again. Dew points already above 40 degrees in many areas. That's a good indicator that we'll see some developing storms, maybe some hefty amounts of rain, especially where those dew points are higher than 50 across the eastern plains. Could get some flash flooding concerns in your area later today and into tonight. We have the moisture there. We also have the instability from this area of low pressure and cold front that will move through this afternoon. So let's talk about the severe weather threat areas in yellow, which is a large part of the News 5 viewing area. Could see hail in excess of two inches in diameter. 70 mile per hour wind gust. In addition to that, frequent lightning possible, and we could see some isolated storms. I should say tornadoes develop within those storms. So if you are outside today, you want to keep an eye on the sky. You want to make sure you're able to receive those weather alerts. And if a storm is moving in your direction, you want to find a place to seek shelter and get out of harm's way. Now again, through about one o'clock, we're okay. That's when storms develop over the mountains. As they move east, they could pulse strong to severe. We'll be watching that closely throughout the afternoon and evening hours. And look how slow moving they will be across the plains. This is where we could see some very heavy rain, maybe more than an inch in some areas today. Even through the evening, we'll watch the Palmer Divide for continuation of some of those stronger storms, mostly north of Highway 50 across the I-25 corridor through this evening is where most of the activity will form and persist. So if you want to get outside and do the hike, Again, get it done early because by the afternoon we've got scattered thunderstorms in the forecast and that continues through late this evening. Now into Sunday, more moisture is expected behind that cold front. We get better upslope flow development. I think Sunday morning's a little drizzly, but Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, pretty wet and Monday could be rainy as well, especially along and west of I-25 will shift that main focus of rain a little farther west by Memorial Day. But in addition to the rain, it's going to get much colder for the next couple of days. Sunday to Monday highs only in the 50s. You can see by Tuesday the storm starts to move away, so we'll just see a few isolated storms and some warming temperatures. By the end of the week, we are into the 80s. For Pueblo, we go down from the 80s today to the 60s on Sunday, Monday. 75 Tuesday could be up near 90 by next week. Uh, for Canyon City, dropping down to the upper 50s on Monday. A couple of soggy days here. Again, more beneficial rain expected Sunday to Monday with some afternoon thunderstorms today. Some of those could be on the strong side. And some strong storms in your neck of the woods in Woodland Park. Maybe an isolated storm with some rain showers Sunday and Monday. And then warmer temperatures and a few days to dry out by Wednesday and Thursday. Renee?